My name is Michael Wolfe and I've just finished my hair transplant here at Elite. If you want to know more about my journey, come on, come follow me. Tom, I look like you now. <laughs> See you in a bit, I hope. <laughs> so, it's actually time, it's here, it's the main event. So the grafts that were taken and extracted earlier on are now being implanted. There were 3,700 of them. And it's probably going to take around about three hours for those to go in. Yeah, the whole process has been explained perfectly to me um, as we've gone on. And uh, no pain. I didn't, haven't even wanted to watch a movie or read a book because I've just been sitting here and just thinking about my lovely luscious hair. And Actually, I've been thinking about work as well, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'll see you in a bit. Top of my head is looking like that. Um, apparently, um, the first wash will sort out the big um, blood clot that's going down. Um, completely normal. This has been my Istanbul hair transplanting journey over the past um, four months now. Now, it's around about four months and a week. I've kind of gone over a little bit. We're all busy at work, aren't we? And uh, this is what we have so far. Go across the mid, hopefully. And then... No. It's official. My hair is making me a little bit emotional. Cut the graphics. Cut the graphics. Let me remind you how my hair looked before this whole thing began. Now, as you can see, my hair thinning process was almost complete. I just had a slight wisp of black hairs in the center, and towards the left and the right, there was really no hairline there, and I had to kind of brush hairs over just to try and get a bit of definition. Now around the back, I think it's even um, got worse since I had the procedure, so that's why I'm going back for that. All in all, my hair was was uh, pretty much gone on top, so I'm glad that I had it done when I did. I thought I'd also include some pictures from Elite from the front that Dr. Bowie took of me, and also from the side here as well. So it really kind of gives you an indication of how my hair looked. Now check out the results at week 19. So there you have it. Now if you watched the video before, the before video, you'll see there's only some black hairs in this area here and the rest is all kind of, you know, wispy and crinkly and, you know, just dying away. We are on month five, which is around about 22 weeks, the way that months roll, 22 weeks tomorrow. And yeah, this is where I'm at. So um, my hair has really grown so much in the past, um, I think it was around about two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks since my last video. And should we just get straight in and have a little gander, see what's going down? So. As you can see, I've got a lovely little gray hair there. Who cares? And this is where we're at now. I think we all know that I'm on week 24. The last video was week 22. So, so happy. I had a haircut maybe about a week ago, maybe five, six days ago. But this is even better. I mean, this is where we're at. And for those of you who don't know what my hair looked like over, uh, well, before I had the hair transplant, they turned my hair from this into this. That sounded so cheesy. I'm Michael Wolf, this is Hair Wolf, let's do it. Like a hair tutorial now rather than a... But six, seven months ago, I could never think that I'd be doing this now. Okay. So I think you can definitely say my hair is uh, very wet. Before I actually uh, turn the video on, I actually took all the the uh, fibre off the back of my head. So this is where we're at. I'll put some more water in a second. There you go. No, no fibre or anything. I haven't dyed my hair or anything. Um, 
Here, this is what it looks like um, completely wet. I'll put more water in, just uh, so you can so you can see. But completely dripping. There we have it. That's the uh, the wet test, and you know what? <laughs> this is the hair of like, well, I don't like saying it, 40 year old man. And sometimes I like to push it over that way because hair's not trained to do that, and it looks, it's pretty cool. Are you all having fun? There we go. <sighs> Am I too late for the 12 month update? Do you want to hear a 13 month update? Yay! Get to the chopper! But should we take a, a closer look at what we've got here? Now again, well this is kind of really wiry. I've done nothing to it today. You've got that one grey coming through. But my hair is so, so thick. Again, if you go to the early videos and you see what my hair was like, I'll show you a video here. You can see that I've got hair where there wasn't hair before. I had a tiny little tuft in the front, which I put, you know, hair fiber on. And uh, that was about it. But now I have hair all over my head. You can see as I brush it back, what I've got. I mean, here it's slightly thinner, but as I've always said, it creates a bit of character, to be honest. Now, the hair that I have at the moment isn't how I'd cut it myself because, um, well, it's all because of COVID. Let's blame everything on COVID. I'd have this slightly higher. The top would be down like this. I kind of have that there and that brush back a little bit just to kind of like give it a bit more definition. So at the moment, it's a bit of a mess. I didn't really know what to do with it. Um, let's have a look at the top. Okay. That's the top there. Can you see it? And the side. As you can see, you know, my hair hasn't grown back on the top of my head because why would it? back there and the other side and the front again you know what I'm so so happy with it hello and welcome to month 16 of my whole transplanting journey now because of COVID and stuff like that it's crazy to think that it was like the beginning of last year that I went to get this whole process done and it's been 16 months the last one I did was 14 months so it's been two months since my last video. That was a long way of getting around it, wasn't it? Have a little gander at where we're at at the moment. So again, my hair has just been kind of, just trying to find itself. And it's a weird one as well because um, I can't really do much with it because the back needs doing. So I can't have too much um, volume in the front. Otherwise the back just looks really, really silly. So it's one of those things where I've just really wanted to, you know, run with it, but I really, really can't. Got to be really conservative and you know uh, just wait for the next the, the next part of the process which hopefully will be the end of this year now i need to get in touch with the guys and uh, hopefully we can make that happen so this is where we're at got that one little gray hair there again again like i'm right in front of all the you know all the sun so you can see exactly um what my hair's like and you know you can see right through to my scalp but i turned 40 like a few months ago, it's um, it, it's, it's it's been a tough one. <laughs> but for my age, my hair is absolutely insane. It's so so good. So that's the side there. That's the back. Remember, I do have um, hair fiber on the back. Otherwise, I would have really seen. There's the back. You can see how my hair is actually um, the donut area has uh, healed. And the side there.